So the first card is the mule, which says someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So you might be dealing with a very, very stubborn person. And you've got some heartache over what you no longer have. So you're feeling a bit down and out about, you know, things that you have lost in your past. Maybe you're, you're thinking back on the past a bit too much. Now you've got the star card that's crowning it, which says that everything will succeed. There's guaranteed success coming. So whatever you have lost, you will reclaim. Now, in the past, you had the crown over here, which says honor and respect coming to you. So there was some recognition for the things that you have done. And you've got the vine over here, which says seek out information that will help you. So you needed to do some research into whatever you were doing at that particular moment. And whatever you were working on, there was a lot of honor and success that would be coming to you. Going into the future, you've got uh, the bow, which is you're highly thought of. So, uh, you know, with the crown over here talking about honor and respect, and people have a really good opinion about you. And uh, you've got the ram over here, so it says a stubborn, aggressive person. So the ram, you know, it's usually referring to Aries. You might be dealing with a, a stubborn person, and this person is behaving like a mule. So they are being extremely stubborn, and the ram says they're being very aggressive as well. So you could well be dealing with an Aries person uh, in your vicinity, and maybe they're causing a little bit of heartache as well. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Everyday Enchantment Tarot. I have shuffled this deck. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the four of coins over here. So you are protecting, uh, you know, things that you love. You're looking after it very, very carefully, or very closely. Uh, you know, you're very worried about loss. Uh, you're hanging on to your money quite tightly. You're wondering, you're worried about finances. And, you know, you're being very, very spent thrift at this particular moment. So watching all those coins and even trying to protect your security, really, uh, with this four of coins. You can see this little boy has got this, um, you know, he's got his little castle over here. So this is about protecting the home or worried about loss, financial loss. And you're really, really watching those that finance very, very carefully. Um, maybe even isolating yourself to a certain extent so that that you don't have to spend any extra money or any cash on things that you don't really require. Uh, and you're thinking about money quite a bit. So this is something that uh, is playing on your mind a lot. Um, you're very, very worried. You're not even going out and having any fun. You're tending to isolate yourself over there, keep yourself uh, restricted quite a bit um, uh, so that you don't end up spending a, a lot of money. So you are, might be going through some financial problems at the moment, and you're trying to deal with that. You've got the strength card over here, and this is crossed by the hermit. So you can see that with the four of coins, this person's isolated themselves. They've got that moat and that uh, water, you know, around them. It seems like, you know, emotionally, you've cut yourself off from people as well. And with the hermit as well, uh, spending a lot of time by yourself, um, you know, you might be going through some kind of illness at this particular moment with the hermit. It's ruled by Virgo. So, you know, that might be some problems going on with the body. Um, but you are isolating yourself from everybody else. And you are very focused. If you're working at this moment, you are very, very focused on your work, focused on your money at this particular moment. You could even be studying as well, and maybe this is the reason why you're um, finding yourself all alone. Um, this person's working late into the night, so you know you could be spending long hours studying, um, but very uh, focused on something, uh, you know, either to do with work or either to do with learning. You've got the strength card over here. So if this, you know, if you're going through some kind of physical problem, uh, um, you know, some kind of illness, the strength card usually shows you recovering from it. So this could be the reason why, you know, the hermit card is ruled by Virgo. Virgo rules health and medicine. Uh, so, you know, you could be... Um, isolated because you are ill and you are trying to get over that illness and with the strength card there is recovery from that you can see this person's overcoming a lot of things uh you know if there are any problems um you know you will be able to overcome it with the strength card so that is coming in for you uh but you have um cut yourself off from everybody at this particular moment
You've got the Two of Cups over here. So um, in the past, there has been um, somebody that has been there to help you and assist you and give you that support that you needed with that Two of Cups. So, you know, you are, have been involved in some kind of relationship where um, this person has been very, very supportive of you. You've got the Sun card in the last few months. So whatever you've got, been going through it is turning around. The Sun card is, you know, things looking up, um, you may have been working very, very hard as well with the Sun card, but things are about to change and things are about to get better. So the energy is shifting from being very negative or dull into something very light, uh, you know, and a lot of things coming to light as well. So there's a lot of truth being revealed as well. The Sun card could also indicate that you may have just taken a holiday recently or someplace out, you know, uh, uh, gone somewhere that is very sunny as well with the Sun card. Um, but... Um, really things are starting to turn around for you now what's in your mind you've got the three of cups you do want to get out there and socialize and meet some friends and you know you want things to lighten up it seems like you want to get out of this uh, energy of being stagnant and stuck you're not happy being alone so it seems like this loneliness is not something that you're very comfortable with and it, it looks like you are looking to get in contact with some old friends so what's going on in the future? You've got the Six of Cups over here, and this is spending time, uh, you know, you might be involved with family um, or spending a lot of time with your children. Uh, the Six of Cups is also about, you know, um, maybe there's a new offer coming in, an offer of friendship coming in for you. Um, but also, you know, um, if, you're, if you're working, you might be working a lot with the children. So there's a lot of energy, new energy that's there, or young energy with the Six, six of Cups. Um, this could also be you spending a lot of time thinking about the past or thinking about the good old days, uh, you know, when you were young. Uh, so you are, uh, you know, um, don't get stuck in that energy, you know. It has passed. It's good to think about the good times, but sometimes, uh, you know, that is the thing that can depress you or, or make you feel miserable. Uh, so it's time to move away from that. Um, you know, don't reminisce too much about the past. Um, rather look to the future or look to the present and change things around. You've got the three of wands over here. So uh, what's going on with you? There are people around you. There might be, um, you know, um, people around you that are quite supportive um, with the three of wands. So this is going out there, putting your, you know, you might be um, with people, um, you might be with um, collaborating or, or there might be people that are f of a fire sign uh, that are close to you. So there might be Aries, Leo or Sagittarius people around you with this three of wands. Um, you know, you are being supported with this three of wands and whatever you're putting out there, um, you know, you might even be doing some travel at this, at this particular moment. So this is, you know, going out there and seeing the world. So you might be in that kind of um, uh, scenario right now where you are planning on traveling or you're deciding to travel or you're making plans on traveling and getting out there and um, exploring the world. Um, and then you might be surrounded by fire sign people with this three of wands. Um, either way, they're very supportive and they're bringing in new energy for you and they're bringing in new ideas. What's going on around you? You've got the chariot card over here. So this is taking control of that situation. So uh, where you you seem to have been disempowered, it seems like that is coming back into your life again, that power. Um, the chariot is about moving home or concentrating off affairs, on affairs involving the home. Um, this is also a card of victory, taking control of that situation and getting over it. So whatever issues are going on within your family life, <coughs> and it seems like there are some kind of family issues going on, because you've got that six of cups and this is about family life or things happening within the family and the chariot is about you know it's a card ruled by cancer and it's about family issues things are going to change and there's going to be victory in this particular situation so whatever family issues you are going through at this particular moment it looks like there will be victory and you will overcome it uh, you will take control of that situation and um, you know you will show uh, your leadership within that particular situation and uh, it looks like there will be victory in whatever family problems you are having at this particular moment so what you want you've got the queen of wands you are trying to take control you're trying to get your power back maybe whatever has happened around you has disempowered you and you want to get back into that place or you know where you were in control it seems like uh, you know it, uh, the control was taken away from your hand um, and it seems like you know you're trying to get that back again trying to be that a uh, person that you used to be 
So going into the future, you've got the Page of Blades, the Five of Coins, and the Ten of Blades. Now, with the Page of Blades, it seems like a lot of truth coming to light. So something is going to be revealed. Uh, you know, sometimes it's not the best of information that you want to hear. There might have been some lies or deception that had gone on, and it's probably within this family situation, and that is now coming to light. Maybe you're seeing things much more clearly and now, and, uh, you know, issues are being revealed to you. You have gone through a period of, um, you know, loss, financial loss. Um, maybe you felt like you were left out in the cold here. You can see these people being you know, in the in the snow in in uh, behind the window over here. So maybe you've been isolated, and maybe this is the reason why the hermit card is showing up over here because uh, maybe uh, something happened that you were thrown out of a group or thrown out of that family situation or excluded uh, from that family situation, and this had led to you know feeling. Uh, uh, disempowered or feeling unsupported or even going through some kind of financial loss. There could have been some illness that you even went through. But things are about to change. You can see this woman's getting these coins coming in. Um, you know, there's somebody around you that's very, very loyal and very supportive and it seems like things are about to change. Whatever that old situation was, there looks like, you know, you feel as though you've been stabbed in the back or you've been um, uh, betrayed, um, you know, and it seems like, uh, you know, that situation has ended with the ten of blades it's about the ending of the cycle it's the ten of swords and it's something that you can't change whatever happened happened and you're going to have to just walk away from it uh, but things will change for the better um, whatever happened was really nasty and uh, you know there was a lot of betrayal um, like i said a lot of lies deception that went on over here uh, since this uh, you know the ten of blades is just leave that situation and walk away from it and go go towards something that is better for you because you can't resurrect that old situation. There was too much, as they say, there's too much of water under the bridge and it's time for you to actually move on from it. Um, you know, there is a lot of lies uh, that were spoken and that's now coming to light for you, but you're going to have to just leave it behind because those people were obviously not worth uh, you wasting your time on or spending your energies on and you know you're gonna have to leave that behind and move on so you're gonna have to exclude those people from your life and move on in order for you to make change and things are going to turn for the better because you can see this one's getting this payoff so your health will return and um, you know it looks like happiness is coming in for you uh, but you're going to have to just leave that situation the past situation and move behind and not dwell too much in the past with the six of coins um, you know dwelling too much in the past you're gonna have to take control with this chariot card and make you're going to have to make um, the moves you're going to have to make the decisions in order to move away from that negative energy and things will um, change for you you've got a lot of support with this three of wands maybe a, you know a, a trip or maybe a holiday is something that you need in order for you to get over whatever's happened so I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, angel tarot so you've got the Queen of Earth over here, and this is your card, and it says, make time for those around you, to make, take a sensible approach, uh, deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So this Queen of Earth is thoughtful, creative, or warm and sensible so it looks like you're going to have to take over, take control of that situation you're going to have to organize yourself and you're going to have to be practical in what you do uh, you know the queen of coins has taken control of a financial situation she knows exactly what she wants and she's able to uh, sort things out and be very practical um, uh, about what she's doing so this is the energy that you need to embrace You've got the Dreamer card over here, which is the um, the Fool card, which says a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So, uh, you know, you're going to have to leave that situation behind. With the Ten of um, Blades or the Ten of Swords, everything is finished and done with. These situations cannot be resurrected again. You're going to have to leave it behind, forget about it, and move on. Not necessarily forget about it, but use those experiences uh in a positive way and move on make a brand new start with the dreamer card and then you've got the ace of earth which is also the beginnings a brand new beginning which says the inflow of abundance a promising business venture important documents or contracts so it looks like there might be new money coming in or a change in your financial situation with this ace of earth but this is also uh you know the beginnings of good health 
So the earth, uh, Ace of Earth also deals with you getting over any kind of illnesses or sicknesses or any kind of problems that you've been having on a health basis. It's getting over it. It's also dealing, uh, you know, new money coming in, uh, starting a brand new financial cycle as well with this Ace of Earth. And with this Dreamer card, it's also, you know, it's the Fool card. So you ha you're going to have to, uh, you know, focus again on yourself, heal yourself and uh, start afresh Leave the past in the past um, and move on from it. It looks like you can't resurrect the past. You you know, there was too much of lies, too much of betrayal, too many things happened. But you're going to have to take control of that situation with the chariot card and move on from it. And see everything that happened in a positive light um, so that you can bring positivity back into your life again.